Uh, thank you very much, John. Um, I'm just going to quickly pass on to the next uh, person we've got. We've got uh, Catherine Ban from Yorkshire CND, so please put your hands together for Catherine. From the Yorkshire campaign for nuclear disarmament and um, I just want to start by inviting everybody to join us in the next phase of our campaign because as you probably know um, Monday shamefully um, the vast majority of MPs in Parliament voted to renew the UK nuclear weapons system Trident um, and uh, can I just say how irresponsible that vote was um, David Cameron only a few weeks earlier had gone on and on about how we have to, uh, for matters of national security and issues of war, we ought to take a, a long time and have time for investigation when dealing with these issues. And then only days later announced with a week's notice that we're going to take a vote on uh, the new UK nuclear weapons system. Time, not in the national interest, but in the interest of the Tory party to exploit divisions in the Labour party at a time even when their own front bench had just completely changed, including their own defence secretary, to deal with a matter of national importance, in fact global importance like that, with a week's notice is politically irresponsible. And apart from that, they were wrong. <laughs> to go back to Chilcot again, uh, millions of ordinary citizens in this country were right about Iraq's weapons of mass destruction and the people at the top got it absolutely wrong. And on this issue again, on the UK weapons of mass destruction, I would say that the ordinary citizens again have got it right and the Westminster elite have got it completely and utterly wrong. And I'm careful to say the Westminster elite because there are some honourable politicians up there at the top who are voting with their conscience. Now I'm speaking about Jeremy Corbyn and the, the MPs that are loyal to him and the kind of politics that he represents. So Corbyn, along with many people here and many people in the rest of the country, we know that whatever the MPs vote, that nuclear weapons are immoral. Any weapon designed to kill mil millions of civilians at a time, including those not even yet born, are definitely immoral. They're also illegal, according to the World Court. And to see Theresa May step up to that dispatch box and say without equivocation, without qualification, that yes, she would press that nuclear button and kill hundreds of thousands of civilians, that is actually a war crime. Yeah, and then picture. at the same time, they're saying that Jeremy Corbyn, who said that he wouldn't do that, is therefore not fit to be Prime Minister. <laughs> Incre absolutely incredible. What a topsy-turvy world that we live in. But apart from the legal and the ethical arguments, there's also the practical arguments. There's lots of reports that nuclear weapons are going to be obsolete due to underwater drone technology. It's the cost. We're going to spend $205 billion on these new nuclear weapons. $100 billion, half of that amount, would fund all accident and emergency departments in the whole country for the next 40 years. So we wouldn't need to decide between an A&E in Halifax or an A&E in Huddersfield. You can have a decent A&E in every single town and with the other half of the money you could fund 120,000 new nurses. For example, of all the things that you could spend the 205 billion on. For the unions, the jobs around Trident for an issue, but it's a red herring. There's only 11,000 jobs associated with Trident. You could write a cheque for a million pounds to those 11,000 people and still have 190 billion to spend on stopping people or having to rely on food banks or on anything else that you wanted to spend it on. And Jeremy Corbyn knows this, and, uh, and I'm sure you all know it too. And furthermore, nuclear weapons do not help us with our security issues. They're not going to protect us from a terrorist attack, a cyber attack, or from climate change. They're not um, a weapon for the 21st century. Tony Blair, even in his memoir, said that militarily, uh, the utility of Trident is practically non-existent. Well, the point is what he went on to say in his memoirs was that to get rid of Trident would be too big a downgrading of our status as a nation. And I think that says it all. It's about what sort of nation we want to be in the future. This is Westminster's hankering for imperial grandeur, is what Trident represents. Yeah. 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 So our fight against 
nuclear weapons isn't really just a fight against nuclear weapons. It's about what country we want to see in the future. And it's why the struggle, the identity of the Labour Party is so linked with the struggle for peace in this country. It's about where we want to go. And this is a grassroots revolt which knows where it wants to go and it has got to win against the elite at Westminster. So the news that Jeremy Corbyn will be making unilateral disarmament a central plank of his leadership campaign is fantastic news for us. And um, if he wins, which with rallies like this one, uh, there's obviously a very good chance that he will do, that puts us in a really good position to get rid of Trident in the future. And that, together with the rise of the SNP, where the vast majority of people in Scotland and 58 out of its 59 MPs don't want it there, and there is nowhere else to put it in this country, actually puts us in a better position now than we've been in for years. So CND has never been a politically partisan organisation. I suppose I have to speak for myself, really, when I say that uh, we have to vote for Jeremy Corbyn. But how could I not? He's the Vice President of CND. Um, and, and the most honourable politician I've ever had the pleasure to meet. So a vote for Jeremy Corbyn in this election would be a vote for nuclear disarmament. And so conversely, if you want nuclear disarmament, you ought to be voting for Jeremy Corbyn. It makes sense. Um, and I think that with the left wing at the helm of the Labour Party, the SNP in Scotland, we can actually achieve uh, the end of nuclear weapons in this country, uh, a more peaceful nation, and just a more just nation. Um, so I just really hope that uh, we can continue to build this campaign and work together for a, a better Britain and a better world.